Salutations, Beef Queen. We did shop, go back and pick Waddle. Agreed, yes. We would like to uh, have a mouse and a Polly. That would be favorable. Uh, Zippy the Zombie. Uh, we get an evil twin spell for every 15 enemies we kill. So we get to uh, start making clones. Can become a very powerful way to get uh, treasures late game, especially. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the rage, right now. You uh, you did just miss a uh, a ball an Aeon Ball Prism game. Alas, so it's it's really only downhill from here. Oh God, I did it out of order. Now I'm just gonna not take it with sp for spite. Yep, now I gotta take it for spite. <laughs> That's how I feel about your cat. <laughs> gonna refuse to take it because I did it wrong. Mouse uh, tribal. I guess. Like, maybe I still want the Lonely Prince to flip it next turn, but. I don't, I don't remember the old math on that, what I used to play. I, I had the math for that at some point. Mm -hmm. Somewhere around 50% to hit a princess here. Hey look, <laughs> came with one even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... That math works out well, and the other option, like, I would like a mummy, but... Hmm. Is this lockable? You're allowed to. I mean, arguably, what else do I want is a, a valid question. We're just very overloaded on this mem right now. <clears throat> and I don't... I don't like Wraith very much. Oh, oh, you're gonna get your sleigh on. We're here? Okay. You take what less damage, I get what dollar. We both profit. I mean... Little Red Party's a mistake, right? I don't know, if I think Feasting Dragon's a okay buy on 4.0, Gingerbread Party is an okay buy here sometimes. Uh, Mimcat. <laughs> Alright, you don't know that I've got two mice. It's a secret. <laughs> I 
All right. No, I need to I need to trade up if I were to uh, ever win here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we get that at least, but like, that's not really gonna actually matter. All right. At least kill that. Pretty bad stuff. Okay, we, we hit our greed mice. We could... Evil Twin a Sleeping Princess. If uh, this is Sky Castle, maybe? Speculative fork then, because it's the best by default. Uh, we've lost enough health that I think that's a okay tempo play here. Oh, it does wake them both up too. I wasn't sure about that. If that was gonna be the case or not. I know this kills our cat. Um, Beaker probably. But, oh god, they cast one too and did kill my brave princess. I'm like, as long as they don't cast one too, it's fine. <laughs> well, it certainly feels worse to take stash now. I mean, do we just want a giant woke princess? We can also uh, boost a mummy, which is weird with this spell, but it's okay. It's certainly something we can do. Oh, this is very big. And then it'll stay relevant for a while if we uh, triple it. Looking at like mummies, brave princess is falling off. Like everything's falling off, and we're not uh, fixing it. Which is less than ideal, some might say. I figure that's a really good target for Fork plus uh, Beaker here. So that was my main uh, <clears throat> thinking there. <laughs> Dang. Uh, I was like just cut thinking in my head how those should be switched for a uh, chance at extra damage there. What do we get here though? We do not hit. Okay. Still better than skip, I guess. to get rid of this mitten. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, that did not swap out how it's supposed to. There we go. Uh, we've got enough to 
cell. Let's see if we can find a targeted spell. Hmm. That's still a pretty good fork. Copy the friendly spirit thing. I haven't played the new stuff often enough, but it kind of feels like I want to use one copy early and then the rest are tier 5 plus, but that could be overly uh, restricted. Um, good enough as a spell. Could have uh, copied it first though, like uh, Duke suggested. That, that might be worth it with B game. Yeah, because it does it does double that. Four kings only when you buy from the uh, the shop. But do we want uh, just another tempo friend? But uh, yeah, in my head I only made the connection of uh, the candy cannon. I'm like, well, I would get like plus one, plus one on the other friendly spirit, I guess. But no, I wasn't picking the uh, extra 2-2 two -two there. All right, we could just be a giant pile of stats here. Giant pile of stats. Let's see. So we want to do this. And then, uh, if we want to stall on it, we can. I think I like that better than just lean into this lightning dragon for a little while. Wow, even with, uh, all that, we still don't survive. We can run double lightning dragon because apparently one hasn't been doing good enough for us there. That's probably not correct. <laughs> Seems pretty questionable. And it just feels like I want to try to rush to six, whatever that ends up entailing. Like, take Neons and rush to six and hope our stat line's good enough. We'd like something to replace this mouse at least, but... I'm looking at the shoulder fairies. It's close to being a good idea, but... Probably not quite. All right, let's, we'll, we'll take wombats. Big wombats. <laughs> We should be locking the spell in the neon, but I sold to make room for the uh, evil twin spell there. Yeah, see, that's what we want from our haunted helm. <laughs> Three for ones. This Horde Dragon has clearly been winning too much without deserving it. Take 11, friend. Hmm. Okay, we get another Wombat as well. That maybe we want instead of uh, the Dia? Do we want both? 
Pokemon, we'd still like to find XP. And our bench is already full. And we already cast the spell, so I can't change my mind and cast this on like a friendly spirit or whatever now. And I can't cast XP this turn anyway. Right. Um. Awkward either way. I guess the uh, plan will probably be to use it on friendly spirit from the shop then. Got ahead of myself uh, casting the spell. I mean, it's a lot of power right now. But uh, we want to use that power to look for XP and uh, get to six early. But... Yeah, we would have found it too. Um, I don't think we're supposed to lock for it though. I don't know. I always feel very weird uh, locking for it in that spot. You've got two pumpkins already, which is reasonably rude. Yeah, Friendly Spirit will get to uh, attack, although it may not die, we'll see. Nope. <laughs> Take out the other back range, though. The, who needs the Friendly Spirit to die? It's fine. Pumpkins are for nerds. like that that we can triple but we don't really care it would give us bench space which is nice because i like, kind of don't have space for this but <laughs> ha Interesting. We could also double kidnap, they're not level six yet. I know we just hemorrhage money, but I didn't know how I wanted to handle like needing an empty bench slot and Ooh, are we a bit uh, slow? We're getting pretty walloped here. We do survive, right? Yeah, Wombat is huge at least. Oh, it uh, gets triple. Okay, no, that's fine. Wombat's uh, OP. Never mind. Uh, I my my apologies for doubting you on that. That was that was on me. That was on me. And uh, I believe in the wombat enough that we're doing this. Except like there's a pumpkin there. We're in a very odd spot <laughs> right now. Approaching <laughs> to no stab 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 for sure. Okay. Um. See, P's the one we want to do these on because she's good and... but... Uh, mm. <laughs> it's okay? There's a Boomhilda, too. Do we triple? Do we minus the Boomhilda and then... yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. This is... this is okay. I don't know if it's good, but it's okay. Uh, why did I think I had enough money? I, I have to do that next turn. Okay. That uh, does hurt us here. But uh, this Wombat's very big. And uh, hopefully that's good enough to last another turn.
So, let's hope this is mostly still okay-ish. Okay, that's good. That's great. Can't steal. <laughs> Sorry, Zyga. <laughs> no red of uh, illicit emotes. We get a, a, a lovely uh, feasty slay, although we maybe... Oh, we, we at least... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we barely eke it out. All right. All calculated, obviously. That's a sort of singing. Like, we've got just all of this sort of stuff. It's fine. And we could still do Pumpkin, even though we passed over two of them, so it would feel very awkward, but... We'd certainly do it. Oh, there's literally a Pumpkin right there in the shop, too. <laughs> we've uh, only got the Empress P to uh, proc it, though. Hmm. That's maybe where we want to be going, though? Boomhilda might die first, we got this really spirit, and they uh, get bonuses from the singing sword. <laughs> Evil peep cop, exactly. It's, just, it's normal, honest. Um, I guess with four... Like, I don't even know what she cast it on, it's great on all of this. I don't know, have it on you, I guess? Like, I don't even know what we want, like... <laughs> like, the single supports on both sides want to be both things, it's... Everything wants to be everything. Which, you know, arguably not the worst place to be, but... I mean, it seems to be uh, working out pretty well for us. Okay, uh, so we're skipping that, but we get to combine them, and then we've also got ourselves a do so that we can run front and center here. And we've got two more of these. We're like, <laughs> just rolling at this stuff. Uh, do we want to double apple? We probably want to double apple. They had kind of a... Uh, yeah, they had Aeon Ball stuff going, so they actually could be kind of scary, huh? Let's see how that works. Uh, so what what does this want to be? Uh, like a Green Knight, maybe? Another P would be good, too. We could, uh... Do like Robin, just there's no room. <laughs> ah! Just to try to find a tier 5 treasure like Horn. I think it's too late to go in on the sleigh angle. Like, I want all of these things and none of these things. <laughs> I am in a relatively uncharted territory for myself. Pretty soft. We don't get the steel here though, so they do get a, a free hit, but that's uh, still enough. That's still 11. Working out pretty smoothly. The uh, extra damage from the Sing Sword doing a lot of uh, work for us. Really feels like these want to be something. But <laughs> I don't I don't know what that is. <laughs> they, they could be a couple dollars. There's another friendly spirit. We didn't, like, freeze on the Oni. And, and I just need a spell that turns this evil. 
Yeah, we can replace uh, Steph now. I guess uh, doing that lands gives us two hits instead of one, but I feel like we should do something to become stronger right here, so I will. It's not like the fork's that important, although it can still do some good work sometimes. Like, everything's too good for me to replace it with... <laughs> okay, let's just keep uh, appling to victory, it's fine. There's another P, but I don't have horn! <laughs> that could have been a treasure, though. I... I think I wanted the uh, green bag. Did not get the lock in time. I, I don't appreciate your Medusas. <laughs> let's, uh, well, let's just trade Medusas for a little while. We took out the raid. They've got their uh, croc inside a croc situation. Gold pumpkin. Oh, we do not! <laughs> just good enough, just enough stats for that summoning portal! <laughs> so just the summoning portal was uh was enough to uh, win us the game. I didn't I didn't feel the ramen, the pumpkin didn't summon anything else, it's fine. Perfect. <laughs> Mildly scuffed, like felt very confused at the end. It's a, uh, I mean, that's, that, there's definitely comps that can happen with where it's like I'm kind of at the limit of my normal power, and if I were to change that, like I need so many things to change to fix this, right? But uh, yeah, that was that was interesting. We minus to Boom Hilda, so that we could then lock a P. <laughs> it uh, it made reasonable sense. It was very weird, but uh, I think it mostly made sense. I uh, I also don't know like these the ordering of a lot of stuff could be kind of all over the place, but. <laughs> 